It's a wet, rainy day outside, um, which is beautiful. We love it. That makes me think that it's time to do some, some cooking, some crock potting, and some vlogging as well. I got this recipe from my friend Susan, who um, created or came up with crock pot peanut clusters. And I love, it, it's basically chocolate and peanuts, which are two of my all-time favorite things in the world, seriously. Throw in some cranberries and cream cheese and you have a party! Want to reintroduce you to my crock pot of the 80s, maybe 70s, not sure, with my mother-in-law's. Um, I've actually been hinting around to Santa that I want a crock pot for Christmas, along with a KitchenAid and liposuction, because if I get the one, I'm going to need the other. Yeah. Okay, so there's only four ingredients. What we use is lightly salted peanuts, and I'm just using the Walmart party peanuts because everything is more fun if it says party on it. It's, it's true. It's documented. It's in the Bible. Look it up. Um, the, so three pounds of that, and then three pounds of chocolate bark, which is it's totally new to me. I've never bought it before. I've never seen it before. Um, I got the Make Your Own Almond Bark Chocolate Flavored Coating. I guess that's the right stuff. I hope it's the right stuff. It looks just like a giant candy bar. It's two pounds, and it tastes good, so I think it's going to be fine. So, um, three pounds of chocolate bark, and 12 ounces of semi-sweet chocolate chips. Got that. And one bar of Baker's German chocolate. So there's only four ingredients. Um, which sounds like pretty darn near perfection to me. So, let's get going. Okay, so we've got three pounds of nuts. And, as you know, this house is always full of nuts. So we just layer that in there. Wow, I wonder if you need a bigger crock pot. That's, that's very full. Okay. Um, three pounds of chocolate bark, which I broke apart here into these gigundo pieces. And she said just layer it all, so that's what I'm going to do. And already it's really, really full. Chocolate, chocolate, and more chocolate. Alright, and then one bar of the German chocolate. So, you can see how hard this is. It's tough. I'm just going to break this up and stick this in there. Um, the other times I've used my crock pot this year was for the brownies in a mug, which were excellent. And I think I ended up eating pretty much all of those. It was too much for my children. I was fine with it. And... I gained, I think, eight pounds that day. And I did um, Stephanie's um, peanut brittle in a crock pot, which was fabulous. Both of those were Stephanie's. And last Sunday I did a roast. So I am not the crock potting queen by any means. So it says just layer it all like that. Um, cook on low for three hours. And then, very important, she wrote, don't touch it, don't peek, don't stir, don't lift the lid, nothing. Leave it for three hours. And that is why me and the crock pot, we clash. Because I like, I like to peek, I like to stir, I like to make sure things aren't getting burned on the bottom. So it scares the crap out of me to just leave it. But I'm going to do it, I'm going to survive. 12-step um, program, Amy, 12-step program. Okay, I was really nervous about this part, but it actually looks really good. The top was still nice, um, nice and, and shaping. You know, I mean, it it didn't melt at all on top. So I emailed Susan real quick, and I'm like, okay, is it supposed to look melty on the top? And she said, no, no, no. Um, three hours is plenty. Take the lid off, stir it up, dig deep, and that it would work just fine. So as you can see, I'm mixing and mashing and it is very nice and melty. So after I get it all stirred, I will set it out on um, wax paper. Here's what it looks like after it's all stirred up. It smells really good. So what I'm doing now is just dropping these 
by ice cream scoop size. <laughs> if I had a real ice cream scooper, I would use it. But um, this is the perfect size according to the directions, and then um, we let it sit. But this should make anywhere from like 100 to 170 pieces. So I should have plenty to share with neighbors and friends and maybe the kids' teachers at school, that kind of thing. So my batch made about um, 120 of this size, and we just set them out to cool and harden. I'll have my kids' taste test them in a little bit, and we'll let you know the final verdict. Well, hello. We are just eating. Looks really good. Is that my kid or what? Is it good, Ethan? Mr. Knows when the camera's on. Mm. Very messy. Two thumbs up? Two thumbs up, Ethan? <laughs> <laughs> Did you put it all in your mouth at once? Amazing. <laughs> yeah? Okay, <laughs> say bye bye. Absolutely disgusting. Don't make it. Wait a minute. Don't.